Hello everyone and welcome back to CodeDIS and welcome back to MySQL series. So in our previous video, we completed introduction to database concept where we completed what is the requirement of database and everything. Now in this video, we'll understand what is the data and what exactly information or what exactly the difference is between these two. You may think uh -huh, it's a very simple topic, uh, but but really believe me, uh, if you'll ask this topic to B.Tech graduate or something like those who have completed their degree, still they are confused with the uh, data versus information. It's a reality. You can check. You can check. Right. It's a reality. Uh, they're saying like uh, data and information both are same. Right. Not relate. No, not at all. It's not same. There are some differences there. We'll discuss each and everything so that you will get the clarity. It's a very a silly question. It's very normal question and very, very uh, internal concept is there behind the data and information. So, okay. So, we'll discuss this concept, right? So, directly one side I'll discuss data, another side I'll discuss information. Is actually the first thing is uh, data means anything and everything. Observe data means anything and everything, right? It's a set of facts. You know what is the meaning of facts, right? Facts means it can be a number, can be a image, can be a movie, can be a audio, can be a anything, can be an alphabet, anything can be a symbols, whatever it may be, those are considered as a data. So object data is nothing but it's a set of facts. So fact means anything like number, alphabet, digit, audio, video, etc. Any doubt, anything and everything will be considered as a data. So what exactly information is actually? Processed data is called as information. Processed data is called as information. So what we have to do, we have to process our data to get information. Maybe you will think, sir, what do we mean by processed data? I'll discuss with an example so that you will get the clarity. So here I given the numbers like uh, 33, 23, 43, 63, 53, and 73, right? So can you tell me it's a data or information? Yes, of course, you will tell that data. Why? Because this example is coming under data, right? So yes, it is a data. It is not information, what I can say. Why, sir? Because it's a random number. As a, can I say Can I say it's a random number? Yes, kind of random numbers. There is no arrangement. So these are something like, uh, these are the numbers. Uh, data, uh, data can be of anything, right? It can be something like numbers, right? So no problem. It's a data. But the thing is what, it's not in proper order, it's not in proper manner, so that there is no meaning here. There is no meaning, it's on order, it's a on order. So what exactly the information, we have to process this data, we have to process this data and if we'll process this data in ascending order, what we will get, we'll get 23, 33, 43, 53, 63 and 73. If you'll process this data, we'll get a these are the output. So now I think you are getting the clarity about what is data and what is information. Data is normal, raw thing. It's a, like a raw facts, right? Uh, it's it's, it's an on order number, on order values. But here we are getting the, uh, the like uh, ascending order in a proper manner, right? So this 23, 33, 43, 53, 63, and 73 is nothing but called as information. Means after processing, Whatever we are getting, that is called as our information. So we processed, we apply some sorting technique, okay? Then we are getting these values. So now it's a meaningful or not? Yes, it is a very, very meaningful. So that's why what I can say, it's uh, something like uh, information. I hope you guys are getting the clarity about uh, this particular one, okay? Yeah, that's clear-cut information, right? Fine, next. Uh, Suppose uh, in a movie, suppose I have a movie divided into five part, part one, part two, part three, part four, part five, right? Suppose randomly I given to you like uh, uh, part uh, three, part two, part one, part five, part four. Then this is this that is called as what a data or information data. You have to arrange it uh, part one, part two, part three, part four, part five. So that is nothing but called as information is actually. I hope you guys are getting the clarity about the what is data and what is information is actually. Okay, that's how it is. Right, sir. So it's a clear cut information about the first examples. Next, uh, data is on order, very clear cut, obvious. And data is on organized. Any doubt? No. 
data is on structure no problem at all data can be a structure data no problem uh, generally you can say data is on structure on organized and on order okay fine next uh, information is a uh, on order information is a uh, okay 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 one minute sorry order organized and structured yeah information is the uh, ordered and uh, something like a uh, organized as well as a structured okay that's fine you can say ordered right next what is the next one something like a uh, incomplete information so data is what incomplete it's not like a, we can't say ki complete it's a partially complete it's not income it's not complete it's kind of incomplete but what about the uh, information information is a complete one next data does not depend upon information but information is depend upon data why sir observe here i given 33 23 43 63 53 73 right so tell me is this value to depend upon this information no but this information is depend upon this data or not yes if there is no data how to we, how we will process and how we will get this information but there is no information yes data can be exist without information but without without data we cannot say ki, uh, we will get some information no without data you can't get information no right so that's why data uh, data does not depend upon information but information depend upon data is actually i hope you guys are getting the clarity about this particular things okay right next data is a uh, meaning less less meaning you will find from data but information is a uh, meaningful right fine so these are the uh, like a uh, points about uh, data and information first one data is a fact collection of fact or set of facts facts can be uh, anything and everything like number alphabet digit audio video etc information is a process data is called as information means uh, we will um, we will collect the data and we will process it we'll collect the data we'll process it after processing whatever you will get that is called as information sir next uh, um Data is on order to collection, or you can say data is on order, on organized, on structure, but information is organized, ordered, and structured. So data means it's kind of incomplete information, but information is a complete information, right? So we can say like a data does not depend upon information, but information depends upon data. But data is meaningless, less meaningful, uh, I can say, and uh, information is more meaningful, or you can say information is a uh, um, meaningful right that, that's clear cut information about this particular point that's clear cut information i'll see one uh, example programmatical example like uh, so that you will get clarity suppose uh, uh, i retain one program that program is a uh, addition of two number program means my intention is to add two numbers is actually okay so i retain some code like i can use any language c language java python whatever it's maybe right I return that program. Once program is ready, then I'll execute this program. Once I'll execute this program, it will ask me for uh, enter the value of A. So it asked me enter the value of A. Then I enter the A value that is a 10. Then I enter from my side. Next, it is asking me enter the value for B. So I enter the value of B that is a 20. Right? I enter A, I enter B, I enter the A value, and as, as well as I enter the B value. Next, uh, after processing, it will give you the result addition of A and B is a 30. Mm -hmm. Now, tell me here, which one will be considered as a data and which one will be considered as information. So, I enter two value 10, 20. Then, we are getting the result as a something like called as 30, right? So, tell me 10, 20, 30, which will be considered as a data and which one will be considered as information. Hmm. So, as a input, what we are giving? 10 and 20, you know? as a input. So, that's why 10 and 20 is my input. Yeah? And after processing, we are getting some result. That is nothing but a 30. 
30 is nothing but called as your information. Is it clear or not? Yes, after processing, uh, program is taking input from me like a 10 and 20. Then uh, by applying some logic, calculation, addition logic, it is giving us a 30. So 30 is a result. It's a more meaningful what I can say, right? So 30 is a result. This is the information and this is the data. So that means we can say uh, input kind of things is nothing but called as data. Output kind of things is nothing but called as something like a information. So whatever we are giving as an input, it is an input and output as a something like that. Suppose I'll ask you here, what is the 5 factorial? 5 factorial means it's a data, but 120 is a result and that result is nothing but called as information. So actually, okay. I hope you guys are getting the clarity about uh, this particular uh, like a uh, data and information concept. I'm sure uh, you will never forget this concept and you can answer to anybody. That's it. And thank you so much for watching this particular video. We'll meet in the next video for continuous and Thank you so much.